place to be. What's up and welcome to Lunchtime in the Lab, your number one number one gambling podcast for quick picks. I am your host as always. Thanks so much for joining. We had ourselves a nice day. Nice 3 and 0. Oh, 3 and 0 oh day. We call that a sweep, baby. It's good those. Tacos got those brooms out. Um I feel I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good about today's slate as well. Um <clears throat> you know, I said yesterday we we, we go through these ups and downs in baseball, and it's frustrating. You know, it's just the way it is. They call it the dog days of summer. Once NBA is over, we are going to be fully in the dog days of summer. I'm excited to have some NBA back tomorrow. Um, I plan on looking into those games first before I look into any basketball or any MLB or anything like that. Um, certainly, we'll have some NBA. In fact, maybe even be a little bit NBA heavier in the Discord than I would be in um, – on the podcast or whatever. Uh, yesterday, though, let's pull these notes up. In the Discord, we had a nice plus 300 and like 30, plus 337, something like that. Um, a combination of some of the plays that we had on the podcast here. And then we, unfortunately, we had two college baseball teams that just absolutely, I mean, they they pooped down their legs. They shit the bed, guys. Um, they were both up multiple scores, four or five. And uh, in the, you know, in the seventh, eighth inning, they, I mean, one team gave up seven runs the last like two innings or something like that crazy stuff. We should have had the nice like three unit day, but we end up just being only up like 0.6 or something. But it was the nice to kind of turn it around after having such a bad day in the discord just recently. Um, but it's kind of the way the MLB goes sort of thing, like we've said. So it's nice to kind of bounce back. Nice to, uh, you know, get some winners, especially on the podcast here. I only had two plays out in the discord, but getting those winners kind of feeling like I have my feet underneath me. I've got two plays out in the discord. Um, already kind of keeping a side eye on this first game. I, I went Red Sox. I actually went a little safer. I went Red Sox plus one on DraftKings. On FanDuel, you can do the plus one and a half, but I did the plus one. And then I put that with um, the Phillies money line. And But we'll talk about the, the Phillies here in a second. Uh, so kind of paying a little bit of attention to the game just a bit here. Um, and then I'll probably go turn it on the living room and go do some other stuff and probably try to clean the house up and stuff. My wife started her first day of work today, so – Shout out to her. Good luck to her and everything. Uh, new new job, new opportunity, and everything like that. So uh, hopefully she likes it. And um, I'm going to try to clean the house up. Already got laundry going and stuff like that. So uh, when she comes home to hopefully a nice house, kids fed, everything like that. But let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Before we do, though, we'll talk about beer money picks here just really, really quick. Um, have, we haven't had like a little promo about it here in, in a hot in a hot second. Um we uh in the in the very very bottom here in the link on on um what are we on here youtube i actually don't have the links yet so at live joe bets i'm gonna post about it we now have a um what is it we have a three month a three month program for the pot for the for the discord and then a two month so those that are interested in signing up or if you have it and you're interested in doing something else if you sign up for the the three month uh, you get 10 days for free. If you sign up for the two month, I think you can get five days for free. I think the three months is a hundred dollars. Um, actually, I think it's less than that. I I'm sucking at it. just to let you know it's coming. I'm going to make a post about it cause I hadn't done it yet. Uh, but we do have, uh, just a little promo and then you buy and get kind of thing, you know, so realistically you get a hundred days. Yeah. I mean, you would get a hundred days for a hundred. It's a dollar a day kind of thing or whatever, you know? So a lot of guys in there, you know, proven profitable, all that stuff, you know? Um, but let's, uh, let's see. I don't have a recap screen. So let me just pull back to the one take here. Uh, Scott, what's that say when you were playing little league with, oh, Kiermaier. Yeah. I mean, I, I, man, that was a really long time ago. So we went, we grew up in the same, the same city or town, I guess you'd call it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I played a year or two and then I think you went off to travel ball and stuff like that. So no, I mean, at that point you certainly wouldn't. You certainly wouldn't remember anything like that. Um, what else? What have else have I done? I tackled Tyler Eifert one time. Kind of cool, right? <coughs> He's from where I grew up, too. Uh, Notre Dame tight end went on to play for the Bengals. Um, yeah, that's about the extent of it. Also, I played against – who did I play against? Who the hell was that? He was uh, the Notre Dame's linebacker, Jalen Jalen Smith. And I used to I used to run Dick Sporting Goods in South Bend. He used to come in. He was always pretty cool. Uh, it was pretty close to the stadium. But I digress. Let's move on. Oh, uh, 3-0 day yesterday. Super nice day. 
Uh, we killed it. Everybody kind of came through for us. Astros, Rangers. Astros just whooped up on the Rangers. We got that total. I mean, we flew over that over eight and a half. Um, felt weird about it. I thought it maybe was going to be a little scary, you know, but man, they came out hitting. Both those teams are just, you know, powerful lineups. Uh, nice, uh, solid play there. Blue Jays over two and a half first five team total. Nailed it too. Uh, also had the over four and a half team or, you know, well, first full game team total. Took a while, came all the way down to the bottom of the eighth, and we got that to cash, and we hit that plus 300 or something like that, you know. Um, and then the first five uh, total runs for the Reds and the White Sox. I was uh, – man, I got – guys, I got a lot of red, I got a lot of White Sox hats. Like in my head, joking, of course, because like I got some old ones, but I was like, man, I should make a video of me burning one <laughs> or something like that. Be like, man, if these White Sox don't score a run for you know three straight games or two and a half straight games or something like that, you know, I was gonna be super frustrated. Uh, but Dustin says, let's get these likes up for sure, man. If you guys haven't hit the like button, haven't hit the subscribe button for me yet, make sure you do that. We'll get into the plays here today. I have a list of one, two, three. I have four guys that I kind of looked at for a home run parlay. So if you guys have anybody in particular. We'll, we'll talk about that at the end and we'll see if we can't try to, Hey, there's a lot of, we have a lot of days of baseball. Um, so I got to just, we'll hit one <laughs> eventually. Right. Um, Hey, it's fun though. You know, if gambling is not fun, we're doing something wrong. Um, I'm not putting a lot of money on these. I'm not losing a lot of money. I mean, we're, these are sprinkles. These are put something on it, you know, hoping a prayer. Uh, you got better odds of, you know, hitting one of these than you do buying a scratch off ticket or, playing the lotto or anything like that, you know? So, uh, and it's fun and you get to watch some baseball while you do it, you know? Um, here we go though, man, judge kills me. If you like it though, we'll talk about it. He's definitely not on the list. Cause that dude is just, he does not have a single clutch bone in his body. I feel like, uh, let's see. All right. So, Oh, weather wise too, by the way, nothing, nothing crazy. It seems like you got 12 month, my son's sorry when i like my son there's a loud crash came from behind me my son knocked something over uh baltimore 12 mile an hour you know philly got 11 mile an hour win nothing crazy uh everything's kind of blowing like left to right field uh ti the tigers and rangers blowing out the left field that game i really feel like i want to you know be all over the rangers today uh but i don't know about what lawrence or whatever his name is uh dude you know coming off injury first start everything like that i really wanted to be on the rangers today and then i got just like i couldn't find i couldn't make myself do it um but uh and then hey tj that's it there so there what's his name the professor or something like that who's got like a two hundred thousand twitter followers he used to put out a report every day that showed like how many home runs like each pitcher starting pitcher had given up or whatever i need to try to find a website that shows that because i would love to be able to compare and be like oh yeah so and so's, excuse me. So and so's pitching today. Uh, he's given up five home runs this year. That's the most. And you know, you want to kind of like go against him or whatever, you know. <coughs> like Lance, like Lance Lynn last year. There was a period the dude was getting like rocked, and he was giving up a lot of home runs and stuff too. But um, anyhow, let's pull this up. So normally this screen here means that I am looking for, or I'm, I'm. It's the Royals versus the Dodgers. But got creative. I am going to take the Dodgers money line and the Royals money line, and we're going to put those together and we're going to parlay it. And it's plus 100 when I locked it in on DraftKings. Um, I don't have it pulled up right now, but I'm sure it's still very close to even money. Uh, but plus 100 on DraftKings, it was. It was plus, actually, it was plus 101 on DraftKings. It was plus 100 on bet 365. I think on FanDuel, it was maybe minus 110. So you always have some options out there. But I like the Dodgers money line and I like the White Sox money line. I would say um, both teams. This is this is uh, outside of the fact of the point that I'm about to make. The Dodgers should win this game regardless of who's pitching. The KC should win this game regardless of who's pitching. You know the White Sox are terrible, um, but the Dodgers also have you know Glasnow on the mound. That I mean, who's like going against each other, or whatever. But both teams, both opposing teams are starting a triple A pitcher. Both teams are calling up a pitcher today. We have the White Sox calling up a pitcher. We have the Nationals calling up a pitcher. Uh, as you would imagine, neither one of these pitchers have a 
neither one of these teams are going to have like a top 10 prospect, you know, arm and, you know, a triple A or anything like that. Uh, White Sox. Nick Nastrini, I'm guessing here. Uh, he's had one triple A start, 0 and 1 with a 7.71 ERA so far this year. Of course, you know, the White Sox are calling up a guy that has not won in the AAA. In 2023, he had a 4.08 ERA. The Nationals are calling up Mitchell Parker. Looks like he's had one outing this year. Did do good. Four innings pitch, no earned runs given up in 2023 at a 4.72 ERA. Um, honestly, those feel high for triple A. You know, normally you want to see somebody kind of like dominating. Um, in a matchup or anything like that, you know? Uh, so you have this welcome to the MLB type moment with, you know, in this bet essentially is what I'm kind of getting after. Um, but anyhow, uh, I was reading TJ, I was reading your message. Casey throwing Seth Lugo, who's looked great so far, two and one, uh, 1.45 ERA and three starts. He's given up three runs in, in those three starts. So on average, he's given up just a run a game. Um, of course, like he had just kind of one bad game where he gave up a little, little more. Dodgers throwing Glasnow, uh, three and one, two point two five ERA. So the Royals, not only do the Royals have their better, the Royals have a good solid pitcher going. The Dodgers have a solid pitcher going. They're facing a pitcher that this is their first time ever pitching in the MLB. Um, these are not the type of prospects that's going to come in and pitch like a no hitter or four or five, you know runs given you know no runs given up anything like that i think both guys get hit uh you have to think i mean this dude for the nats this mitchell parker guy in his first ever mlb appearance he has to go against mookie Betts, shohei otani and freddie freeman like man that's that sucks that's that's rough by the way you know what i'm saying uh <laughs> so the dude's gonna get dude's gonna get smoked in my opinion um, so, Hey, you know, and, and I'd be interested in first five action here too, but you know, the first five for the Dodgers, I think wasn't playable in my opinion. And for the white Sox or for the, the Royals, the Royals certainly don't have like an explosive, explosive offense. So they're not an offense where I'm like, Hey, yeah, let's go ahead and take this first five. Uh, nah, like I'm, I'm cool with just, you know, what needing them to win the Dodgers first five team totals over three and a half. Don't like to play that. Not a fan. I, I prefer the two and a halves. I don't like to take team totals over five, five and a half. I don't like to take the first five team totals over three and a half. I like to get three in those spots. So really, it's just not not a good function, not a good, uh, just not there for the type of plays I want to do. So first play is going to be a combination, a parlay, uh, KC money line, Dodgers money line. It's nearly even money depending on where you get. Um. Let's see. Who's what's going on here? Red Sox still pitching. Red Sox still can't get a hit. It looks like actually, I think I did get a hit, and it looks like they might have just grounded out. Um, okay. Yeah, TJ, and yeah, get I mean, that's that's terrible. Like, I mean, he very well could easily give up, you know, single single home run or something like that, you know. Although that would mean that Freddie Freeman has to hit a home run, and I just don't know if the guy knows how to do that anymore, unfortunately. Second play, going to my Reds here. They're not my Reds. I, I was going to wear – I got a Reds hat, but I have a green screen behind me. Like, this isn't a gray background, seeing as I used to have, like, a purple one. And, like, when I turn, like, this one's got – you know, this is the Vikings. What's going on? I can't see my face. Anyway, right? Purple? Anyway, like, the underside – oh, I thought I had a purple bill. Anyway, it's like a, a seafoam green, and, like, it just looked like my hat. It looked like I wasn't wearing a hat basically or i was having like this little like cap thing so anyway i would have been rocking my reds hat today would have rocked me yesterday too because we we're on the reds going with the reds money line here plus 130 on DraftKings, plus 130 on fanduel as well last i seen uh haven't seen any sort of lineups or anything like that so you know i would maybe wait to make sure that we have you know ellie and spencer steer and india and everything like that um i feel good taking a team who just swept a series um, instead of a team that just went one and two. I understand the Reds obviously just played the worst team in the league, but they did, for the most part, dominate them. We were on, you know, we were on that over when they scored just five in the second inning and they fell apart. They didn't look great there. They scored 11, five, and 11 in those three games. Like offensively, they're on fire and they just swept the team. Uh, you look at the Mariners, who's not really scoring. We're talking a couple runs a game and, and, 
but the Cubs are a great team. Cubs are fantastic. Cubs are Cubs for a, a minute here is going to be a nice over team and a team that I'm going to want to like go against. I also like to fade the Cubs when Kyle Hendricks is up. So next time we see Kyle Hendricks, boom, all over it. We're going to go maybe even go, you know, it's a good over team. We were on the Cubs and Padres the other day. You know, it was the Cubs just put up runs. Um, Mariners are throwing Kirby, though, who is one and two with an 8.16 ERA. He's given up five and eight runs in his last two starts. He did have a good first start. Good for him. Uh, I guess it's going to be a what have you done for me recently kind of thing. And recently the man has not done great. 13 runs in the last two starts. That's that's a lot. That's a lot. Getting hit, getting nailed. Um, and he doesn't get a lot of uh, run support for him. Reds are throwing Freddie Montas, uh, who's 2-1 and one with a 2.16 ERA. He had a bad-ish start just recently. Uh, Brewers giving up five runs, three earned. Before that, he'd only given up one in his first two starts. So he had two starts, only given up one run, uh, and then kind of ran into the Brewers, kind of had a pretty average day, so to speak. So he's got a 2.16, uh, but he's pitched really well in those first two. Um, in their last three games, the Reds, like I said, have scored 27 runs, where the Mariners have played it just seven. So the Reds have scored 20 more runs in the same time frame than the Mariners have. So we've got hotter bats. We have a better pitcher, in my opinion. Um, and I think the Reds are going to get to Kirby here early. So I like, I'm not going to turn around and like try to like use this promo for like an official play because not everybody has access to DraftKings, but I very much plan on using the Reds money line for the early up promo on DraftKings. Uh, I was only able to put a half unit. I can put a full unit on it now. But in the Discord, I would probably call it a half unit play just because it is a little riskier. However, if you do have the up early promo, taking away team is the smartest possible thing you can do because they can go up to nothing. The Reds could, they could, Kirby could walk a guy, home run, boom, bet cash, blink of an eye. Um, and we don't have to go very long. They could end up going up two in the six inning games over. You know, whatever. Uh, I while I do think the Reds win, and that's what the official play is going to be. Um, I am I unless because it's a night game, I'm probably going to wait. I think this game's not till like nine o'clock tonight, right? Like pretty late, nine forty two on my my side. Like what the heck? That's so late. And the Dodgers are at ten ten. Like, i got to stay up to, like, 1.30 in the morning to watch these games if I'm going to watch them. Um, that being said, though, a lot of my other plays I'm on, you know, like this, like the Royals and the White Sox starts at 7.40. Like, I might wait and see how they play out in order to play it. But I just don't like to be, like, like, I had a bad day. And I got and they, no running from it in the Discord. Like, I went 0-5. I also dropped five plays all at once. I don't normally do that. I like to kind of see how we're progressing and be like, okay, today is weird. Not reads maybe aren't good. Let's let's chill. Let's only go down two units instead of you know, let's only go oh and two instead of you know having a, an O and O for a day, you know. Um, anyhow, of second play, Reds money line plus 130 is going to be the official play. Uh, if you have the early up promo, I know someone here said that he you know he missed it or something that you know used it on something else, like that's you know, that's that's fine, obviously. Uh, if you have the early up promo, this is where I would utilize it. Um, in my opinion, if you don't, I still feel good about taking the full game money line. That's for sure. Uh, let's look at some comments here. Yeah, see Tom, but uh, Tom Cruise in here, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, fame. Um, let's see. Marcus, what you say? Was gonna comment this, but didn't know if it was a Discord only play. Oh, join the court, folks. Okay. Um. Oh, shoot. Did they just hit a home run? Triple. Sorry. Unfortunately, I went Red Sox with the plus one without seeing that another capper was on the Guardian. So that sucks. That's certainly not something I mean to do on purpose. Um, however, that person is a Guardians fan. So, and I, when I posted, I was like, ah, shit. Let me go see what Chief is on. And of course he had the guardians. Hey. What's up, buddy? Oh, hey, don't shake it. You're spilling it. <laughs> I'm almost done, and then we'll get you. We're gonna do lunch, okay? Okay. Go watch your show. <laughs> Kid. Um, okay. Getting a third play. As usual, though, before we hop in a third play, do me a favor, hit that like button, please. Hit the subscribe button for me, please. We are over 700. I think like 703 subscribers, something like that. 
um i while we're talking about here and hit the like button as well i just hit it we are at 10 likes awesome if you guys do me a favor hit the likes i i don't know how the algorithm works but i'm sure they like youtube likes to see people liking videos last play for today coming out of the phillies and the rockies game here All right. The guy didn't score, though. I need to stop watching on FanDuel and then just hurry up and get done with this so I can go enjoy some day baseball. But it looks like they just got a second out, and hopefully the guy didn't score. All right, anyway, here, let's focus. Phillies, minus one and a half on the run line. I'll tell you what, um, DraftKings has a better line, minus 125. Uh, I hate to play minus 125 on the run line. Run line is normally a plus money bet. As obviously it's riskier, but you have a – I don't have it pulled up in front. Oh, I do. Um, where is it at? What's their money line? Money line's minus 265. Can't play the money line, obviously. Can't play a first five. Can't play I, – I love the first five team total here. Can't play it. Minus 160. Uh, this is, <coughs> in my opinion, this is the best option to play it outside of, like I said, I had put the Red Sox um, with the Phillies. Red Sox, you know, uh, the insurance run, the plus one, just in case they lose by one, we uh, pushed that bet. Anyway, Cal Quantrill going, struggled, 0-2, 7.20 ERA. He is not a specific person that I like to fade, um, although, you know, he's not one of my pitchers. I, I talk I talk about a time I could rattle it off. I'm sure you guys could go in and you guys know what pitchers I like to fade because you guys have been doing it with me. Um, I tell you what, I did not realize that Kirby had started so bad or he had had two bad games, such two bad games in a row. Kirby very well may be a, uh, another guy we want to start fading. What's that TJ? I'm on Philly's first five and Dodgers first five. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Uh, money lines, hopefully. Cause the push the, uh, and then even like the 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 run line in a 0.5, and then you just hate them them to start slow or something like that. Um, but uh, anyway, 0 and 2, 7.20 ERA. Yes, got out of the inning. Uh, he's given up three, four, and five earned runs in those starts, and has gone six, four, and five innings. So he is pitching low innings. He's getting nailed. He's getting knocked out of here. Uh, this is a spot I wouldn't mind. Like I said, I, I'm just going off my notes here again blindly. Uh, wouldn't mind taking the first five, but it's minus 160 at the over two and a half. Don't like to play the team totals over four and a half. Their team total is set at 55 and a half. It's just not my style. I, I don't want to do it. Um, I looked at taking the alternate team total at four and a half and the money line. Eh, it just wasn't worth it. Minus 130, something like that. Then it feel good about playing two legs at a minus 130. Uh, so this is the route we're going. Minus 125. We need him to win by two. The Philly bats, man, the Philly bats are due. You hate to play something that's due, but these bats are good and they just haven't been great. Um, it's just, it's just time. It's time to tee off against the a Rockies team, a Rockies pitching, a Rockies bullpen that is like second worst, maybe even 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 last. I'll pull it up here in in two seconds. I'm pretty sure the Rockies bullpen is. Second to last, 5.97 ERA, Rockies bullpen. Um, they get, you know, a pitcher that's given up a ton of runs. They get a bullpen that's also given up a ton of runs. Phillies throwing Aaron Nola, uh, who has an inflated ERA, in my opinion. He is 2-1 and one with a 4.5 ERA, but he had a first bad game against the Braves. Like, he got rocked against the Braves, gave up five or six runs, um, got killed. I mean, but who doesn't get killed against the Braves at times? Braves, I can't figure out. Braves are almost like a stay away team at this point because they can't figure out what they want to do. Uh, but since that start, he's had five. He had a five point two inning shutout, and he had a six inning with the two runs given up. He's looked good in those last two starts. I think we have a better opportunity facing. You, you, there's there's different ways to look at it. Uh, optimistic, pessimistic, whatever. You have Cal Quantrill who's pitching bad. But, like, how high is his ceiling? Yeah, he's, he's probably still pretty close to hitting his head on it. You have Aaron Nola, who has not been as good, but he has a tremendous upside. You, we have, when you have somebody that's underperforming, I would rather take that person all day because at some point he's going to snap and get back to his, his normal self or whatever. 
And I think that's what happens. I think Aaron Nola pitches well. I think we get five or six good innings out of them, uh, and they're going to have a big enough – you know, in the Phillies bullpen also, hey, I'm not going to lie, Phillies bullpen's obviously not that good either. Uh, but I think we get enough out of it that uh, – enough out of him that uh, they shut him down, they're going to get enough runs, and they're going to win by two, ideally. Pulling up the recap here, as usual, now's the time. Let's go ahead and get in. Uh, first off, if you have any questions, um, I've looked – at most games so far today um, in the slate, go ahead and pop them. Let me know if uh, you have any, I didn't look at player props or anything like that more. So I do like to bet player props, but like, unfortunately it's just so hard. It's so like you have 18 different player props, you know, players, you know, batters, you know, total bases, hits, whatever times 10 on a full game slate. You got 180 people to choose from uh that's gonna get a hit or whatever you know like it's just like how many of those people are gonna hit in a game i don't know math but crazy stuff you know anyway now's the time to see what you guys i'll let you know what i like home run wise i'll see what you guys like home run rise uh we'll try to put together we'll crowdfund a play together and see if that's not the the secret sauce but to recap today for the audio side we'll get them out and then for you those of you that want to take off and you don't want to mess with uh you know hearing anything home run action or any any extra talking or anything like that uh recap today on april 15th it's a monday today used to be when taxes are due i don't know if they're still due or not today is jackie robinson day as well uh shout out to that's a good movie shout out to that actor obviously too that uh you know had passed i think he had uh, colon cancer or something like that chadwick bozeman or something like that good movie that's a really good movie uh anyway thanks so much for listening be sure to follow me on social media is at live joe bats the recap today kc and the dodgers royals and the dodgers money line together looking at even money depending on where you get it reds money line plus 130 if you have the early up promo for DraftKings, go ahead and run that I think it's a fantastic look. Like we mentioned, it's really smart to take away teams. Then we're going to do the Phillies run line minus one and a half. I tell you, this smells three and oh. I feel like we have a six and oh run ahead of ourselves tomorrow. Knock on wood here, obviously. But I appreciate you guys listening on audio, listening on iHeartRadio and Amazon and Spotify and wherever else that you guys listen. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys back tomorrow. Okay. Bring out the brooms. Bring out your dead. Where we at? Okay. Here are my four that I kind of quickly went through. Um, under 30%. Yeah. Did you? I wish I had a job where I could fail 66% of the time and still be successful. So <clears throat> TJ Minson Judge. I don't know if I've seen anybody else mention anything. Uh, I got. I feel I want to take a Philly today, guys, with Cal Quantrill. Um, so I'm open to what Philly we want to take for today. I have – you got to think Schwarber, man, is going to – but I, you hate – you take, hate taking Schwarber at a plus 200 when the guy hasn't been hitting home runs. Um, you're almost – you're almost, you know – doing yourself a disservice taking a plus 200, you know, home run or something like that. Uh, Trey Turner is another, is my second one that I was kind of looking at. Um, and I think I'm going to pull up Swish here where I can see my, my batter versus pitcher here kind of easier. Trey Turner. Well, he's faced him three times. He has one hit, but that one hit has been a home run. Marsh. Two hits, faced them five times. Castellanos, faced them four times, two hits and a home run. So you can see these guys have done pretty well. Uh, Cal is a righty. Um, Trey, you know, Trey Bats switch. I don't know what his splits are. I'm about to. Speaking about a Turner, man, Justin Turner tore up yesterday. Justin Turner had a great game yesterday. And you look at the history against that pitcher that he went against, dude just like, you know, smoked them. Trey Turner's hit just one home run this year, and it's been against a righty. He's batting 313 against a righty compared to a 290 versus righty. Dude, Logan, same thing, man. I've been I keep adding Bryce Harper to my slips, thinking the guy's gonna hit a home run, and like he just he just doesn't he just doesn't do anything, you know, at all. 
Oh man. Watching that tracker, it looked like it looked like Devers had to have got a it just said 105 mile exit velocity, but they just didn't score again. Um so like I said, Schwarber, Turner, or Harper are going to be your obvious ones. Uh, Harper just keeps – it's just such a mind game because it's like, oh, you know, he didn't hit a home run today, but, you know, he – dang, what the heck? You guys ever look at Baseball Savant where it shows – I was trying to see, like, Rafael Devers. Like, uh, let's see, Josh Naylor, his flyout would have been a home – earlier in this game would have been a home run in 12 of 30 stadiums. Jose Ramirez had a fly out would have been a home run in 20 of 30. So they must have hit it in like a bad part of the bad part of the stadium. 105.5 exit velocity. It's 369 feet and dude couldn't get a base hit. Um, okay. Anyway, um, I liked, I was looking at Cody too, Cody Bellinger just, but he had another, another one of those guys that he's had, He's hit two home runs against Merrill Kelly. Um, bats 280 against them. You know, that lefty on righty matchup. Cody Bellinger. Splits. Man, I forget. I always forget that Cody actually, like, he's got a better batting average against lefties than he does righties right now. He's actually struck out. 10 times against righties. So I don't know. I don't think I like that anymore. Not a fan. Then I had Paul Goldschmidt, which don't get me started about that guy. That guy burns me all the time, but he also had a pretty good uh, against Ross Stripling. He's has, I mean, two doubles, two home runs. That's 368. Goldschmidt versus a righty. I mean, his only home run is against a righty. What is up? Like, I mean, he hasn't faced that many lefties. It's early in the year. There's not that many lefty pitchers, but he's batting 400 against a lefty. That's maybe something we gotta we gotta try to remember. Paul Goldschmidt's betting 400 against a lefty, and he's batting 149 against a righty. At this point, the guys that I picked out, I don't even love. So, like, y'all could really talk me into something if you, <laughs> if any of you guys got like, uh, TJ, you said Judge against Bassett because he's been giving up a lot of home runs. I mean, I I could see it. Where are we at, Judge? We're probably going to have to – we're probably not going to get any kind of odds out of it. 230? Ah, oh, it's gross, man. We'll add it. Hold on, bud. You just ate recently. Are you hungry? Hey, let's go. Oh, we're almost done. I'm almost done. We'll get something for lunch. JT Romuto. All right, TJ, you got me on Judge. Brittany, JT from the Phillies. JT Realmuto. No, I think no. he bats kind of low in the lineup. It is a way, though. No, he's their cleanup. Um, you know, that's not a bad idea to kind of go against like the whole like, oh, is it going to be Harper? Is it going to be Schwarber? Is it going to be this or that? And then you, you know, go with JT. Although where's, let me see. That's, I think it's crazy enough just to work. And he's a plus 340. I'm cool with that. We're gonna go go judge and real muto. What else? We got that's a plus thirteen fifty two. We're definitely gonna need another one. I liked Paulie, but I, I uh, not the true Paul. There's only one Paulie. That's Paul Canerco. Is it Paul? It's Paul Goldschmidt, right? Am I crazy? Yeah, it is. Um, and then Cody Bellinger versus righty is just hasn't not the same advantage. And then you think about somebody from the Reds going against Kirby, but the Reds don't have that true. Like I was on Benson yesterday. You know what? 
I almost feel like it needs to be a Dodger going against this this Nationals pitcher for the first time. I I think okay, our third needs to be either a Dodger or a Royal because of the 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 rookie pitchers going. And then we'll know whether or not it cashed going into that game. So then we're all like, just like I had the other day, though. Like, we, you know, it's like all eyes on Shohei. Could have cashed out and made like 200 bucks or something. And, you know, I didn't touch it. But I say, yeah, taking a Dodger because that makes that game a little more interesting. So what's his name? Mitchell Parker. Let's see. Is he a righty or a lefty? Where are we at? He's a lefty. So, it would make more sense to take a righty. Dude, I was just going to say Hernandez. Don't love that he bats fifth. Just based off, like, you know, turnaround and stuff. Yeah, there you go. Let me look at let me just look at his stats here real quick. Hernandez. Splits. Three. So he's hit five home runs. Two versus two versus a lefty, and then then three versus a righty. Um at home. All his home runs have come at home. All Hernandez's all of Hernandez's home runs have come at home. None away. That's a good look. Four home runs have been at night versus one during the day. I think we found our winner. It just makes sense. Wrap it up. <clears throat> That's it. <clears throat> right. And then Hernandez. Boom. We're going Aaron Judge. Thanks to TJ. We're going JT Real Muto. Thanks to, I think it was Brittany. Uh, I lost you. I have to scroll up. Then we're going Hernandez, kind of thanks to Logan, right? But also, like, I was looking at him at the same time, too. So I feel good about those. I think Romuto is going to be a nice little, like, everyone's expecting, you know, whatever, and it's going to be him the home run. That's what's going to happen. Plus 7,160. That's the home run parlay for today. Yeah, you're right, TJ, too. All right, that's it. My son's apparently starving. He had a peanut butter and jelly at like 1030 this morning. And I, so I don't know what the hell we're going to have for lunch at this point. Cause that's normally lunch. I got some old pizza in there. Um, appreciate you guys. I'm going to go turn this baseball game on. Oh, you know, what's funny actually. What's the score. I made a, I, I downloaded the show the other day. I made a two way player. So like a pitcher and like batter or whatever, obviously, and guess who drafted me? The Angels. <laughs> so the Angels are like, man, we got rid of Otani. We're gonna need this beast. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna obviously be very good. Uh, so <sighs> recap again: KC money line, Dodgers money line, Reds money line, Phillies minus one and a half is going to be the play for today. Appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for joining. Thanks for the interaction and everything. Like, I, I appreciate it, guys. Um, if you know anybody looking for a new show, want some free plays, want some winners, put them on. If you're on, follow me on Twitter or whatever, you know, retweet it when I do, you know, help me continue to grow. Um, I think we have the ability to potentially try to become popular. I mean, 700 followers or subscribers, I think is pretty good. Uh, but obviously, you know, need more, need to continue to win and go on streaks. And I mean, it'd be best to, if I hit this home run lotto and I could say like, oh, we cooked it in the, in the, in the, in the the show, you know, and then we get more followers that way, you know, lunch time in the lab, home run parlay hits plus seven, ten dollars to win seven hundred dollars. Uh, but whatever. Appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys back uh, all around um, tomorrow at 1130.